I chose Stern because I knew other people who had attended Stern and they were all really chill, fun and smart people and I wanted to be like them. I chose Stern because of its uh, extremely high reputation. Stern was the only business school that gave me the confidence that I could choose the career path in business and in the function of my choice. It just really felt like it was what I was looking for in a program. Finance, you know, Enva, New York is the finance capital so that just um, made me drive really hard to go to Stern. The internship opportunity, professional opportunities NYU afforded me were just what I was looking for. There's a big focus on what are your values? How does that translate in how you navigate the world personally and professionally? And I think that's very unique to Stern. It's really cool to just be able to work with like-minded and really ambitious students throughout the program, all very, very smart and come from different backgrounds. I came in thinking I was coming just for a degree, but somehow ended up with this network, this confidence, and this path to success that I otherwise would never have had access to. Everyone is so motivated to learn new things and to see other possibilities, to learn from each other and to learn new experience and to learn about the world. What really drew me to Stern after that kind of vision of moving to New York was really meeting the people when I got to campus. The program, for one thing, looked amazing. So uh, me go wanting to go into entertainment, it was exactly what I was looking for, and then it's also just in the best city in the world. Everything's here, every industry, every you know type of job that you could possibly want, any type of cultural thing or social thing you could possibly want, everything is in New York. New York is great. The people here are amazing. It's better than what I expected. There's more to do than I expected. Uh, I feel like every weekend I'm discovering something new about the city. Whether you want to do a museum night with your classmates or probably um, just like a finance get together going to like one of the financial institutions is right here. Everything is right here. You see NYU pretty much all over New York City and just knowing that you're part of something bigger than just one location, it makes you really feel connected. New York is very romanticized in media and I think a little bit of that is true and so I think just that kind of draws people to it. Driven. Personable. Passionate. Dedicated. Fun. Ambitious. Curious. Collaborative. We all really came together, especially given the odd circumstances we had to work with with COVID to still find ways to hang out and put on events and build community. The community at Stern is like, first of all, there are a lot of people here and so you know so many people. They're very smart, they're very bright, they're very driven, but they're genuine, down-to-earth, empathetic people that really care about you. I feel like people always help each other, whether it's with class, whether it's with a test. You're gonna have great teammates to come and kind of save the day and, and help you tread water and know that in the future you're gonna be that person helping them. So I think that that really shone through. We're all coming from such diverse backgrounds into a collective focus in the fashion and luxury spaces. I constantly could be learning and inspired by somebody who's saying something new or something different in the entire cohort and that's what kept me really engaged and inspired to learn more. I think the student body at Stern, there's a lot of room to make Stern your own experience. There's a lot of focus on inclusion and being open to new ideas. Whether it's people from different cultural backgrounds or um, professional backgrounds, everyone comes with a unique experience and perspective that you don't get the opportunity in a lot of other MBA programs. I have found that it's been so diverse um, and that everyone has come to Stern with a very different tool set. So it's been really cool to meet a bunch of people from around the world. Um, there's a French student in the program, um, a lot of students from throughout different parts of Asia, which has been really cool to kind of come together and see how our cultures are are different but also similar. People not only learn from just what they learn in school and from case studies, but also from other students as much. And I think it's a big positive for me. People with different culture, with different background can bring in new ideas into any subject and you feel like, wow, this is what people feel, this is what people think, and it brings a new world to you. I think the most surprising thing about Stern was how true the importance of both IQ and EQ really are, not just in social settings, but even in the classroom. And IQ is kind of your book smarts, and EQ is kind of your street smarts. Um, and you kind of have to put those two things together. You gotta be a poet and a quant. And I felt like you could take you know, kind of the more quant heavy classes and apply them to more of your qualitative creative classes. And so I think that's what's really interesting about Stern and about the program is just having that really strong balance from both sides. Everybody loves working with people that they like and have fun being around. And that has been absolutely true 
um, at Stern. I felt that every part of our curriculum was immediately tied to something actionable that could be done in our careers and our full-time jobs. Stern has prepared me to be a leader by teaching me to always value feedback from others, to be open to new experiences, to always surround myself with people who have differences in backgrounds and opinions, so that I'm constantly changing, constantly growing, and constantly evolving. I think Stern also does a great job of providing opportunities to lead within the school. I think I became a leader by being among leaders. Being co-president of Stern Women in Business, or SWIB, um, was something that I thought about doing like the minute that I got on campus. The coursework, the experiential learning, the people I've met, and just the environment we're in, it's definitely provided me with the tools to, to go forward and be a leader in the business world. My favorite professor is Professor Chuck. Um, I am taking her class right now. It's about developing managerial skills, and she's just, she's incredible. I'm so in awe of her and just in awe of how thoughtful and intentional she is with every single action, and I like watch her in class and take notes. I'm like, how do I want to be? Shout out to Nate Pettit. Uh, leadership was one of the very first classes we took as part of our Tech MBA experience. And it's just one of those classes that he really made you feel comfortable, feeling uncomfortable. Branding and innovation with Professor Fran Gormley. And Fran really makes herself available at any time for you to get the most out of the course. Professor DeModron, uh, he was always willing to add his personal perspective and talk to me after class that uh, it kind of drew my interest more in finance. I really admire Professor Harry Chernoff. Uh, he teaches a lot of operation courses and was able to give us a lot of real life experiences through operations in Las Vegas and operations in Panama. Professor Schwed, uh, I'm taking his private equity finance class now and where every lecture, I feel like every point he's trying to make and ev everything he's saying holds value has been something that I've really come to appreciate this semester. Professor Paul Zarowin, I took both his financial reporting and disclosure and forensic accounting class. Dr. Robert Whitelaw, <laughs> he was definitely my favorite. Um, the guy's really funny, um, but also quite brilliant in the way he taught us. Glenn Oaken, um, he says a lot of the things that I think everyone thinks, but people are a little too scared to say. Um, so I love his blunt honesty, but doing it in a really kind way. probably cliche, but it's gotta be the people, right? The people. The people. The people, obviously. Getting to just see everyone all the time. Just having that kind of ease of access, if you want to call it, to, to your friends. The people around you and the, your classmates sitting right next to you, you're learning the most from. We shared a lot of great memories together, um, as well as the classes that I have taken. I gained a lot, a lot of knowledge at Stern. I will miss all of that. I will miss the late night Slack sessions, the discussions with my group members about assignments, offline lessons I've learned from interacting with all the students and faculty. I definitely will miss like being in classrooms, being in lectures. In school you get a variety of different topics you can learn, a variety of different topics you can expound upon, a variety of different projects you can do. And this is something I'll definitely miss when like I'm done with the program. I'm honestly very proud of our class for getting through it and for making it here and for having like all of these amazing outcomes, both personally and professionally. I actually feel proud to be a Stern student every time I walk past an NYU flag on the streets of New York because that just makes me realize that I'm a part of a larger community. Telling my parents, right? My, my parents are immigrants from Taiwan um, and just to see the look on their faces of how proud they were um, and the fact that, you know, they, a lot of times, they'll walk around the house or walk outside, they're always wearing Stern alumni swag. <laughs> Whenever someone kind of asks me, where are you going to school, and I get to say NYU Stern, and the way their face lights up, it makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something just by being here. After rounds of interviews or just uh, communication with the partners and uh, HRs, they come out to the sentence, wow, you're a Stern student, and you really impressed me. We definitely all came in with the mindset that change is going to be an inevitable part of our lives and we just kind of have to embrace that. I think that most of the class is very comfortable with change, um, even coming into Stern. Um, and then after Stern, I think it, you know we're all better for it. Honestly, I think I'd have to thank my classmates, especially those who like 
have become my best friends. It's been a huge honor to be here, a huge blessing to be part of this program, and I would never change anything in the world for it. It's been an insane journey. I, I can't even start listing um, what Stern has given to me and hopefully what I've given back to the community as well. When opportunities come, just grab it by the horns. Always be willing to help others because you never know uh, you know, where you will meet them in your life and when they, will, when they can help you as well. So just, just be open, willing to help, not looking for anything in return. It just brings you happiness when you bring others success. Congratulations, Class of 2022. We made it, and our stories are only just beginning. Congratulations to the third cohort of the Fashion Luxury MBA Class of 2022. We walked in wearing masks, but we're walking on wearing smiles. Let's go make the business of luxury look even more fashionable. Congrats, Stern Class of 2022. Go Violets. Congratulations on an incredible couple of years. I cannot believe that we're here. It went by incredibly slowly and also in the blink of an eye. I'm gonna miss you all and I cannot wait to see all of your careers blossom. To my classmates in the Masters of Science and Accounting program, Class of 2022. Congratulations, we have shared so many great memories together and I am so proud of what we have accomplished. Congratulations everybody, it's been two wild years but we did it and we made it. Thank you so much for making this Bay Area kid feel at home in this big crazy city. Congrats. We've accomplished so much during our short time at Stern and now deserve all the successes that are a direct result of our hard work. Congratulations to us. Congratulations, Tech MBA's Class of 2022. While we may have never discovered who plays the zither from Dean Ruggu's orientation speech, we've learned so much about each other and ourselves. Good luck. Congratulations, Class of 2022, MS Risk Management. Be proud of yourself. You did it. I just want to give a huge shout out to the entire Shanghai Cohort Program. We made it. Congratulations to my MSQF classmates on everything you have accomplished, and I wish you all the best. Class of 2022, congratulations. We did it. Congratulations, Class of 2022. I feel so privileged to be a part of this class, and I can't wait to see what we do next. Congratulations, Flux Squad. I'm so happy and proud of us. And I can't wait to use everyone's clothing discount. Class of 2022, it's been an incredible journey, and I'm so glad I got to share it with you. Hey, MSQMers of 2022, congratulations, and I can't wait to see you again at our next live meetup. To the Class of 2022, we did it. Can you believe it? We're here in person celebrating our achievements. Congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2022. I am so happy that we were able to build this community and I can't wait for us to continue to grow together. Congrats guys, we did it. 